Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about a static CMOS circuit design. In the static CMOS circuit design, as I discussed in the previous video, there are three different uh, classifications, or we can say three different flavors are there. So, static CMOS design classified into three types. They are first one complementary CMOS design, second ratioed logic, ratioed logic, and third one pass transistor logic. Pass transistor logic. Again, ratio logic is further classified into two types pseudo NMOS logic and differential cascode voltage swing differential cascode voltage swing logic these are the two different types of logic circuits that comes under ratio logic now in this video I am going to explain about complementary CMOS logic circuit design so complementary complementary CMOS circuit design so complementary CMOS circuit design means whatever the circuit diagrams so far we have seen all these are complementary circuit designs in this the logical circuit the logic circuit is constructed between VDD and VSS. The logic circuit consists of consists of PMOS logic and NMOS logic. That means the same function has to be implemented by both the PMOS and as well as NMOS logic circuits. But where we need to connect PMOS and where we need to connect NMOS. PMOS logic is constructed between VDD and output. PMOS logic circuits is connected in between VDD and output. And the NMOS logic circuit is connected between output and ground and mass logic circuit is connected between output and ground this is the scenario how to construct this CMOS logic circuit using PMOS and NMOS another thing is the logic circuit the logic circuit made up of PMOS known as logic circuit made up of PMOS known as pull up network pull up network P U N logic circuit made up of PMOS transistors is known as pull up network I told you already it is connected in between VDD and output similarly the logic circuit made up of NMOS known as pull down network pull down network so in short it is PDN so here onwards wherever you have this PUN and PDN that refers to PMOS logic circuitry and NMOS logic circuitry respectively. Okay. So pull up network connected between VDD and output. Again I am writing here VDD and output and pull down network is connected between output and ground. <coughs> that means output is exactly at the center between pull up network and pull down network. 
okay so another thing why it is pull up network what is the reason for the pull up network when pull up network is on when pull up network is on output goes to logic high output goes to logic high that means it makes the output to up pull up network that is the reason why it is pull up network when this particular network is in on state the output goes to logic high this is the pull up network this is the state and similarly when pull down network is on output is go into logic zero that means output pull down to zero so pull down network and pull up network okay this pull up network and pull down network are quite opposite each other that means when they are in we can say they are in push pull configuration push pull configuration that means one network is in on state another network is in off state because both are implementing the complementary function okay that means i will write here when pull up network is in on state when pull up network on that leads to pull down network off and pull up network when it is off state we can say then pull down network is in on state this is the difference and complementary push pull configuration existed between pull up and pull down networks see till now we have seen in terms of matter now i am going to explain in terms of the circuit diagram how it is connected between vdd and output see here the pull up network is connected between vdd and the output function here output is indicated by f which is a function of all the inputs output is a function of all the inputs how many inputs you are connecting here that many will come definitely in the output okay only two inputs are there output is a function of those two inputs only okay n inputs are there output is a function of those n inputs only okay so what type of logic function that it is i will tell you in the next slide see here pull up network is having n number of inputs the same number of inputs must be applied to the pull down network okay and pull up network as i said it is connected between vdd and output and pull down network is connected between output and the vss ground vss is nothing but we can say it is the ground potential okay so complementary logic gate as a combination of pull up network and pull down network so it is a, a pull up network make a connection from vdd and output when it is a function of one and similarly pull down network make a connection from vdd and vss when all these equal to zero see this is the construction of this pull up and pull down network that makes the complementary sema circuit design now much more deeper if we go how the pulling up and pulling down is going to happen with respect to nmos and pmos transistor see clearly when an nmos transistor is considered with a output load capacitance how the transistor makes the capacitor to discharge for the nmos transistor to be on we are giving a logic one here it is nothing but logic one high voltage so when this transistor is in on state capacitor cl assume that the voltage across capacitor is vdd previously it was charged now this capacitor is discharging through this on transistor this capacitor capacitor only do two things one is either charging or discharging here what i am assuming the capacitor is already charged in the previous state as it is already charged now it has to discharge through the on transistor of this transistor nmos transistor so what happens the capacitor discharges through this on transistor and till it reaches the zero so capacitor discharges like this and it reaches the zero this is the discharging path of the capacitor <coughs> similar case we can expect with respect to the pmos transistor but the pmos transistor 
to make it on we need to give ground potential zero nothing but we can say logic zero so this logic zero is applied and the pmos transistor comes into on state so when it is in on state the capacitor discharges thoroughly through the on transistor okay here also we are assuming that the capacitor is initially charged to vdd and now it is discharging through the capacitor through the on transistor so from vdd to but here it reaches up to the threshold voltage of this pmos transistor here the trans the capacitor is not allowed to discharge up to zero volts because the pmos transistor is having some threshold voltage across it but the using nmos transistor we can discharge up to zero potential from vdd that is the difference between pmos and nmos transistor and now the same experiment with respect to incremental period like then i think but charging period for the capacitor we, we can say here the transistor is connected at the output tail part we are connecting the capacitor load and it is the vdd power supply now when this particular transistor is in on state always it is on because we are giving a constant input then the current flows like this from vdd to the ground through the capacitor so what about the capacitor now capacitor initially across the capacitor is zero volts there is no voltage now capacitor charges up to vdd it tries to charge up to vdd but the voltage across capacitor uh, transistor is vt that will be remained forever because it is having on resistance that stops the some drop across this transistor nothing but vt so it can able to charge from zero potential to vdd minus vt vtn is nothing but for nmos transistor but in the case of pmos transistor when we are giving zero potential then pmos transistor comes into on state and a current flows like this through the capacitor so initially no charge across the capacitor so zero potential and now it is charging from zero to vdd 100% voltage swing is occurred in case of pmos transistor when we are going for the uh, rising period but charging are when we are going 100% uh, uh, voltage swing can be obtained when we are going for the nmos transistor during discharging period okay so this one will give 100% voltage swing and here also it gives the 100% voltage swing but whereas pmos transistor during falling and nmos transistor during rising will not give you the 100% voltage swings hope you understand from this logic realization okay now let us see i told you uh, n number of transistors we are connecting in the pull up and n, n number of transistors are connected in the pull down how these two how these n number of transistors are connected together whether they are connected in series or connected in parallel that we should understand that depends on the connection of parallel or series completely depending upon the type of logic function we take so if the type of logic function is a product term like a into b so the a into b is nothing but n number of inputs are two so two pmos transistors we should consider and two nmos transistors we should consider so those two nmos transistors must be in series with each other those two nmos transistors must be in series with each other if they are in series this gives the logic function like a into b and operation can be constructed when we are having the nmos transistors in series similarly the same n number of inputs like two inputs if they are connected in parallel then it gives the logic function which is plus operation a plus b this is for nmos transistors i am talking about suppose if i am taking the pmos transistors i am writing here only it is for nmos transistors okay suppose if i take the same pmos transistor for product term then they should be in parallel they should be in parallel see here this is input a and this is input b and these two must be in parallel then it gives the logic function like a into b suppose if you want a plus b using the same pmos realization then we will be having a series connection with inputs a and b okay we can connect a here or b here that doesn't matter okay so the pmos logic functions 
are connected in the opposite way where the nmos logic functions are connected okay so any type of uh, a logic function can be boolean logic function can be implemented using this pmos and nmos logic functions in pull up and pull down network respectively to design the cmos logic functions this is the way an introduction and concept of this complementary cmos logic function in the static cmos circuit design thank you